She'll definitely draw 69 peepees. Sorry, I needed to swallow. Yo, what? Uh, whoa, yo, what? <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? Okay. So this is our first one. Great news. Finally found a van for you at the auctions under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it. It looks like it's just been dredged from the bottom of a lake. But that's a good thing. It meant no one else bid on it. They missed out. Underneath that hideous layer of gunk is your perfect workhouse. Engine's a dream. No rust. There's even equipment in the back. Just needs a good hosing down and you're in business. You'll certainly earn your pressure washing stripes getting this thing clean. All right. Ready to squirt? Aye, aye, Captain! Okay. It's my favorite number. <laughs> it's my favorite number. Eight. Also, Brit, I see you. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I needed to swallow. Let me turn down the audio a tiny bit. Where's the bangers at? Do we get do we get music? Or does the music come later? <laughs> Drawing it right after you see it. Sorry, I needed to swallow. <clears throat> Oh, ding. There's no music. Should we play should we play jazz music then? Should we play stuff over this? Do people usually play music over it? There's only one job that has music. Play lo-fi? <sighs> oh, I can stand still. Oh, that's nice. Oh, fuck yeah. That way you don't see like just blah, 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 blah you know. That's too much, but I can hold still. Oh, that's great. Can I get on the car? Oh, I can just, is it dented? Oh, fuck. This is very nice. This is a very nice. Yeah, a lot less chaos. I wouldn't want to watch that. I was just like, how do I? Oh, is that the window just drying? Guess we'll find out. Oh, maybe it is dirt. Two to switch nozzle. Oh, shit. Ooh! Ooh! 
It's a guitar. <laughs> It's a guitar. Okay. Um. All right. Tunes, music. Should we play the same stuff we played with Millennia? There's Animal Crossing Lo-Fi. That was fun. <laughs> Whoa, Sam, is that is that good? Thoughts? What's this one? Oh, that's very nice. Extension. Stubby gun. Whoa. 11 out of 10? Okay, cool. Wow. Very nice. I'm excited to leave the garage. I feel really weird just standing on this roof. Should we turn the water down even more maybe? Or do we like the water sounds? It turned down a little bit more so we can hear the music. Wow. Yeah. Julia, That's better. Julia, thanks for making me smile and laugh this last year. No. Oh. What the hell? Rebel, that's very sweet. You're welcome. Happy one year. I love how the TTS, every time the TTS says my name, it always sounds like I'm in trouble. Julia, it sounds like I'm like getting scolded. Whoa. I was, <laughs> no, I wasn't drawing. I drew a guitar. You gonna go with that business name or do you need me to think some up? I'm phenomenal. I thought up grouting Thomas for that Tyler and she's never looked back. Do I need to respond to that? On reflection, Bonnie Tyler might have been a better fit. Excuse me? I'm assuming that this doesn't end until it's 100%. Right? Also, by the way, I know it's my first playthrough of this game. Like, I've never played it before, but you guys are more than welcome, like, to backseat or anything. I'm going to get more fine details after I do the main ones. <sighs> oh, it's just part of the power washing sim lore. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Let's turn this up a little bit more. I think that's up a little bit more. Tab button is your friend. Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, there's three levels of crouching too.
Raquella, hi! I'm doing well. We're power washing. I think I got these already. Oh yeah, we can press tab. <gasps> nice. Stan Neal and Sniper, yeah. No kidding. Nice. 98% done. Okay. Oh, it's these. at the top. Hello. To do, oh, tire and mirror. Oh, I see, I see. There's a to-do list. And there's one more tire. Which one is it? the song oh it's this maybe maybe not maybe it's just oh our first job's complete now what escape open close tablet escape job complete open the tablet to continue Oh, is this me doing my thing? Oh, cute. Clean the back garden? Well, no. Hey, Doc. I hope you like the challenge because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. That's not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back to town for a bit to help my folks who are both down to their last knee and rented. What I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't any garden picks in the ad. They must have bred rhinos here or something. Anyways, my girls are itching to get uh, out there and I don't want them still itching when they get back inside. So please do your thing. Thanks a lot, Cal. $450. If you got a dirty backyard, you need it cleaned. Julian. Can we get some boobs this time? Yeah. It doesn't reach that far. <laughs> Baby, thank you. <clears throat> I don't know if Hidden Moonstone's still here, but I can't remember. I don't think I said your thank you for your sub. I don't remember, but happy eight months if you're still lurking or watching. <gasps> pal! Hi, pal. Pal, have you played this? Such a relaxing game. I've only done one mission, but. I feel like this one's not as strong. What's this one? Oh, that's like nothing. This is a good, this is, this is a good one. I'm gonna turn the water down to the What's water tone mean? Versus what? Really low? Water reverb? 
Oh, I think I like the high one. That's cool that you can adjust stuff like that. Sure. Ooh. Move closer, I guess so. Oh, Sherry, I know. The older Animal Crossing music is just so much better than New Horizons. Specifically, they're like time of day music. I mean, there's a lot of new songs in New Horizons, like KK songs that slap, like they're real good, but the hourly music doesn't hit the same. Nice. The little boy and Annie almost two years old, every time I wear a lower cut shirt, tries to look at my boobas and likes to put his hand between them. He also says boobs the moment he notices them. Oh my god. Oh nice. Soraya, that's hilarious. But only because they don't understand yet. That's definitely not hilarious. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at that beautiful tile or cobblestone under it. Wow, that's so pretty. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yuck. <gasps> Water the plants too. You know. I'm drooling. That's so satisfying. Wow. Julia Buck, it's a rebub. This is what it's all about, y'all. Nice and clean. Tyler, you didn't see that. Also, Tyler, I just want you to know when I opened up Steam, it said my most recent friend who played this recently was you. So I know you understand. Hello. It's good to see you, Tyler. I hope you're having a good night. Hello. I'm assuming that's its own thing. Yeah. Oh my god, leaps! Holy shit! That's some high jumping! I've never really like noticed how high you jump. Holy cow! What the hell? What in the astronaut? It's a chill vibe like no other. Love this game. I feel like I could have utilized this game. If this is your first time, a long time ago. Let me extend a personal invitation. Sammy! Sammy, hi! I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, ignore the ignore the, the peen on the ground. Sammy, hello. Wow. Sammy, have you played this game? It's so good to see you. Hi y'all. We're playing uh some so happy I found this fan what if love. Some uh some power wash simulator, which I've never played before, but I've heard really good things about, and I kinda just wanted like a mindless game to just it's just so satisfying. Like it tickles your brain in the best way. Uh yeah, that's a guitar. Guitar. Julia Buck, it's a rebub. It's a party, it's a party. It's a bass guitar. Yes. I love this game, it's so chill and fun. Oh my god! I've literally like missed out. That is the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen. Thank you. Fish, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you so much. Hi Fish, welcome in. Clemsa, thank you for the seven months too. Floyd, happy six months. Um, and Kalia, happy two months too. Thank you. And y'all, you you must know Sammy, but if you haven't, please go meet her. She's one of my favorite like comfort places to watch earlier in the day. We game with her a lot of uh, our like friend nights too. She's in Among Us lobbies with us. Sammy, we play. Did we play code names together, or am I like starting to to bald a little bit? Yes, we have. 
I've either watched you play with Chris or we played we played together. We played together. Right? Sammy's great. She's goaded at Fortnite. She plays a lot of Sims. She was playing Fall Guys earlier. I saw her doing Fall Guys. I hope the cut I'm assuming you did customs. I hope that went well. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I'm either dreaming that, because I know I've seen you play um, code names, and I was like, I can't remember if, if I was in that lobby. I don't remember if I was offline or online. But yeah, Sammy is, is a freaking lovely human. I appreciate her a lot. One of my favorite, one of my favorite um, people I get to spend my free time watching. Now that's a nice path. Look at how beautiful this is. This little cobblestone. It's so yucky. <gasps> oh, if we could fill this with water and fish. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. I feel like I gotta just, this is so satisfying. Also, um, how's the music ratio with the game? Is the does it need to be turned down, or do you think the lo-fi is like perfect, perfect audio level, volume level, if you will? Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Music's perfect. The voice is too loud. Well, that's too damn bad. Is this whole path done, maybe? Oh. I think it's done. Oh, now I'm worried I didn't get every single rock checked off. <sighs> I think I probably did. Wow, this backyard's only 11% clean. I'm like so happy that we're not close to being done. Dog house. They let the doghouse get dirty? How are you liking the game so far? Space, it's so satisfying. It's very fun. I need to like get used to doing this though the most. So you guys don't have to see the camera just jolt up and down. Wow. Julia they have a little health bar at the top. Oh, when I aim at it? Oh, thank you. Also two years, what if cozy Julia am so proud to call you a pal? What Keep the crushing it hangs talk. Yo, what the hell, Sammy? Sammy, happy two years, by the way. You have your little beautiful golden burnt orangey two year bitch. Thank you for two years, Sammy. What the, how has it been two years? What the H even is that? It's cute. It looks good. The purple and the orange is giving me Halloween vibes. I love it. I really like it. Did I miss any? I think it's good, right? Doghouse? Doghouse roof? You said it has a health bar, right? It's almost done. Oh, I see. It's somewhere. Wow. Oh, yes, I got it. What's to do in TMRW? TMRW? Oh, I'm going, I'm going fishing. I'm going sailing with a friend of mine. What about you, Chris? What are you doing tomorrow? I'm going sailing. I don't know about you. Oh, that's right. Oh my God. Thank you, Wyo. Yes, Tab is our friend. I forgot. Holy. Oh, shit. Sneaky. Yeah, y'all, I, I don't think, I mean, um, Oh, this is here. If you missed it, um, we're doing see. I I played Sea of Thieves on stream. I think Halsey was a part of the community. Halsey, were you a part of the community when we played Sea of Thieves like three years ago? Twenty-two. Yes, that's not, a number. I sleep now. Illy. It's 
not a ligma joke. <gasps> Kate's here too. Kate, I hope you have good sleep. Happy 22. Thank you for the 22 months. Julia jumping around is making my Virgo side want to burst. Is it a bad to jump? Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. Yes. Yo, Loki, where the fuck did I download Sea of Thieves? It's, um... Y'all, where is Sea of Thieves? It's like Xbox, I think, right? Or it's something like that. It's, it's, uh... Yeah, what engine do you run Sea of Thieves on? I need to re-download it. I, I think I uninstalled it because I stopped playing it. Oh, Ep Ep Epic. Yeah, it's, uh, sorry, Xbox. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was like the Xbox Games Pass. Yeah, that's what I did. It, I think it's on Steam now, though, which is frustrating because I'd rather just do it on Steam than have to open up Xbox. It's on sale on Steam. Honestly, I think it's like 10 bucks. I, I would rather pay $10 on Steam just to have it on Steam. It wasn't on Steam like three years ago. I'm, pr I'm probably just gonna do that. Chris, I would just put it on Steam. Yeah, it, it's like, ten, it's, on, it's on sale right now. It's on a Steam sale. I think it's 50% off. It's like 10 bucks. You'll lose your cool sword though. Oh, I didn't get too much stuff, so I won't be sad about that. But th that's understandable. If I can connect Xbox to Steam, that'd be sick. I don't know if you can. Right? I don't know. I mean, if, if you find out, let me know, because I'll probably do the same, but... I feel like I'd much rather just have it on my Steam library. I wish you... Oh, but you're saying if you could just have it on Steam, but connect your purchases from Xbox. Yeah, that would be cool. Holy shit. Wow, they're so... Oh, this is so nice. You can for Halo. Um, Halo's on Steam now too? Wait, yes it is, that's how I played it. Oh yeah, Chris, you might be able to. That might be an easy Google, I'm not really sure. But yeah, um, anyway, I haven't played Sea of Thieves, nuts fit in your mouth. I haven't played Sea of Thieves since 28, 2019, I think was the last time I played it. So it's been like three years. But I've played it before on stream, like when I first started streaming. But we're gonna pick it up tomorrow. We're gonna play with Greg and Chris and Crispy. We're gonna be pirates. There's a new Pirates of the Caribbean, I think, collab with it. I think it came out a while ago, but. Oh my God, so sad is fine. The stairs are starting to look so nice. I know, maybe I should finish them. So this is love. That's what this sounds like. Wow. What's up? Do you do bikes? I could do with someone running their thing over my deadbeat dirt bike. Running their thing? Hi? Hello? Florine and I would climb up and down that rock garden all day pretending we were on rumbling mountain rush list and the pond was the crater. That's cute. I have no idea how we explain the fish being there though. Hey, <laughs> Doesn't this song sound like, so this is love? That one. Nice. 
this is so satisfying. You can run my thing if you know what I mean. That's, that's, what, that's where my brain was. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Yes. Whoa. Wow. It's, it's nice. Like, you don't have to get 100% of it before it, like, considers it to be done. Wow. That's... Wow. Yeah, you, you're pretty much like lying on the ground at that point. Yeah, there's three levels of squat. Squat or squat. Visual emotions, welcome in. I feel like I'm winning because I'm satisfied with uh, this entire process. Wow. Okay, I feel like I want to come back up here. We'll get this part done. And then I think we'll... Actually, I guess we'll do the, the like grass out there last. Let's do this part first. Yeah. Looking like Chris's stream from earlier. Oh, garden. I was expect I was like thinking like dirty, but I was like, but his garden was so nice. The guitar had to go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. Maybe there's a better one. Like, when is this even good? Because... Okay, question. Do you get, like, upgrades... at all? Or is this what you have for the entire game? This, right? Maybe? Oh, you can buy them? Oh. But... Okay. Cleaning liquids. Because I feel like this does, like, it gets it done really quick, but it's not as wide as I'd want it to be, you know what I'm saying? Um. What? Where do you buy the um, extras? Is that like in the menu or can you do that while, you can't do it whilst you're like cleaning, right? This also isn't as satisfying as the little one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, press escape to go to the shop? Oh. Do you guys recommend anything that's like... Look on the shopping bag. Oh. Yeah, do you guys recommend any of them? I feel like I just want something big, you know what I'm saying? It's not all about size. Yeah. I mean, size definitely helps. But. You're right, it's not all about size. With um, power washers. Turbos are good. Turbo nozzle. Wait. Ooh, an extension might be good too. 
say that. Sorry, I'm like learning the menu still. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't do have enough money. I, these are the ones I have. Equipment. New items. Oh, can I not like really unlock stuff yet? Actually, y'all. <gasps> Donut pink. Oh, that's cute. What the hell? How come I can't buy stuff yet? It's not giving me the option to buy stuff. I don't buy cleaning liquids and just save money for better cleaning systems. Yeah, that's what I think I want to do. Oh, it unlocks as you squirt more stuff. Oh, okay. So maybe we just stick with what we got right now. I think I still want to do it. This one's like solid. Trusty. Squirt to unlock. Yeah, Halsey. You got it. R will rotate the nozzle makes, oh, makes edges easier. Oh, thank you. Oopsie. Interesting that like the trim of the house is perfect. What if gun? Hey, oh yeah. Oh yeah, what if gun? It's our squirt gun. It's Makar holding a squirt gun. So true. So true. What did the clock do when it was hungry? It went back four seconds. Oh. Nice. That's clever. I wish this was on the Xbox. I'd spend all day cleaning it. <laughs> this is like the first game I've ever played, probably, where I'm like, I'd play this offline. And I'm not, like, because it's just like a brain tickle game, you know? Like, I'd, I'd play this offline 100%. Just like, just chill. Like, have a stream playing in the background or something and just do this. Are you kidding me? It's so nice. <gasps> That's such a satisfying sound too. In the ching. That's been you for the past year. It's like it's this game is like its own version of self care. Cause you're just it's the same. You're just cleaning. It's very satisfying. Sign my name. <laughs> oh, this is a better spot. Okay. Incredible, thanks. Mm. 
Nice. Speaking of therapy, I have a new therapist. Congrats on the new therapist. I hope you guys vibe well. And you end up really liking them. That's awesome. Is this done? Yeah, that's done. <gasps> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, baby. The way the water dries on the plank of wood is so satisfying. Yes, Francis, I agree. I agree. Very nice. <laughs> the, the jumping is so goofy. Oh, this is probably connected to it, right? Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's its own separate thing. What did I miss? Oh yeah, Tab's our friend. Tab's our friend. I can't really tell if I missed anything because of the stuff in the back. I don't know if this game is on the Switch. I don't think so. Does anybody know if this game's on the Switch? That's probably a pretty easy Google. I think it might just be Steam. But that's just me assuming that it's just Steam. Oh, you know what? It's because it's the other side. Oh, that's why it's not done. Poor baby. Oh, it's on Xbox. Oh, that's good to know. There you go, it's on Xbox. Wow. Well, is this as is this is satisfying to watch as it is to do? What do you guys think? Is this satisfying for you? Because this is very satisfying for me. Right click. Oh, you just keep it on constantly and I don't have to hold it? Oh shit. That is nice, instead of holding it. Very satisfying. Alejo, hi! Wow, that's nice. I don't have to click anymore. Thank you for the right-click thing. It is calming. Hi, Redbeard! You missed a spot? Thank you. Redbeard, have you played this? I feel like I'm asking everybody if they've played it. Because I'd recommend it. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm only on my second mission. Yo, yo. It's a nice ambience, the water. Oh my God, the chairs are so cute. They were so yucky. Cute, look how cute they are. You can use Xbox Cloud Gaming to stream Sea of Thieves to your PC. Oh, I mean, I played it on my PC, but it was through like the Xbox. Um, and I'm assuming Chris probably did this too. It was through the Xbox uh, where you can basically log into your, what's it called y'all? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? You log into your Xbox stuff on the PC. I forget what it's called. Your Xbox Live account, yeah. Wait, why are you saying too late, Chris? What did you do? Did you just get it on Steam? Is that what our plan is? I 
we'll get these chairs done first. Yeah, okay. We'll just start fresh. It'll be, you know, a new adventure. Because maybe the game's just super different now. <gasps> oh, satisfying. <gasps> Under the tables. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, my God. Wow. I know the ping of you like having it complete is such a satisfying sound too. It's so like complimentary. It's like you did it. Good job. Here's your ding. has cross progression you can just log into xbox and you keep all your stuff regardless of what platform you're playing on oh really so if i but i would just have to buy it on steam but you can just sync or log in through your xbox through on your on this if you open it through steam the vibe is actually immaculate right now hi luigi luigi this game is so good i i'm assuming you've probably played it because i feel like i'm one of the few people who haven't played this yet but, oh my fuck, this is so satisfying. Can you swim in Sea of Thieves? Redbeard remembers? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Redbeard, I don't know how many people were here or a part of the community when I had played uh, Sea of Thieves last. Not many. How do I get up there? Do I have like a little stool I can use or like, what's up? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, there's a stepladder? How do I get access to that? I mean, it's kind of fun to climb on stuff, I guess. You have 100 hours in power oh, wash? Nice I don't blame you at all. Is Bobby here? Oh, Bobby's here. Bobby, hi. Hello. Wow. Thank you for gifting us up to Bobby, Richie. This game is sexy as fuck. What if do? <laughs> it is Harper High. <gasps> I love the song. It's my favorite uh, Animal Crossing song. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Holy fuck, man. How are you? Oh. Bobby, it's been so good. I've needed a game like this. It's like such a good brain itch. It's so nice. Oh my god, Casey. That would be such a great... Do, can you play this game in VR? I didn't see an option to launch in VR when I opened it, but fuck, this game in VR would be so good. I don't even have a VR headset, but I would get it. What an escape. Is this the Dirt Finder General? Got your details from a certain Harper Shaw, and there's an alleged dirt problem at the local playground. Oh, do we get to go to a playground? Oh, fuck yeah. It's not my dream RV at the auction. It's all creamy. Don't, don't say creamy like a toffee pie on wheels. What the hell? Don't describe something as creamy unless it's fucking ice cream. I wouldn't know whether to drive it or lick it. Ew, stop it. Harper. Holy fuck, look how beautiful this is. Wow. Right? 
Oh, this is like nitty gritty right here. nice y'all should play viscera clean up detail highly recommend hi hannah visceral detail visceral visceral viscera clean up detail do, 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 do. Wow. Oh, we need to use something powerful to get into those cracks. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. This game this is so satisfying. This is better than I expected. From like, you know, satisfying gameplay. Woo! This pawn is so gross. I know, look at that. Oh shit. Wow, we really? I mean, I guess the fishies need a clean place to hang out. Wow. It's so complicated. I think if we leave a tiny bit, it'll be okay. I think it ends up collecting it. Wow, I wasn't expecting the whole bottom to light up. Pond wall. Okay. Hate it when the pot is gross. Really harsh is my buzz. Woo! Oh my god. Jumping when you're like basically laying down is so aggressive. to be jump scares yeah and it lights it up like a lot too which is just like <gasps> pond wall i think we're getting close on having a majority of it pretty much done so i think those little tiny creases in there are gonna be fine Okay. If you want to play multiplayer, you'd see your teammates going going prone all over the place with their squirt guns. Oh yeah, because you can have up to four people playing with you, I think. Which is kind of cool. This would be like a chill game to play with like buddies, you know? I think I saw up to six players on one of them. On like free play, I think it's up to six players. Like, holy shit, that, like what a chill game. Cryo, have a good day or night, wherever you are in, in the world. Thanks for um, hanging out. Creeping on the ground in their hazmat suits. Yeah, it looks a little ridiculous for sure, yeah. Oh 
Oh my god, this pond wall is so close to being done. Oof. Also, Lois Bian, thank you for the 11 months. I missed that. Thank you. If you're still lurking around. Okay, I think we're pretty close to almost having it done. Get a little tiny one. All right. So close. Wow. Okay. So close. Oh yeah, for sure. These ones. Nice. Meg, have a good night. I'll be falling asleep to the squirting sounds. Nice. <laughs> That's a dream. Have a good sleep. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, I see some spots. Oh, this should maybe get it. Wait, hold on. What about over here? <clears throat> oh. Oh, we did it! Pond wall, 69% cleaned! The backyard is 69% cleaned. Very nice, very good. We're so close. All right. I need someone to do this to my brain. Oh my God, imagine. That would be so nice. Oh, wow. Oh, this wall is like dirty, dirty. Like you need to do a few different water layers over it. I think, yeah. 69 in the pond. That's what happened. Wow. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. One fence is done. Oh baby, oh baby. Dirty, dirty. Woo! Beautiful. I guess we said the top bits are dirty here. Nice. Stunning, beautiful. What happens in the pond stays in the pond. Yeah, Jay's understood. My brain to jiggle. <laughs> mm. Sure. <gasps> Birdhouse? Oh, cute! 
Hopefully there's not a bird inside. Oh my god, I had a white roof. Wow. Well, that's a cute ass birdhouse. Having to like get low to get that part is like so satisfying that we have to do that. Oh, there's some parts that are still on the stairs. We're pretty much almost done with literally everything over here. Yeah, we're getting a bath. <gasps> I think we're done with everything that's up here. Looks like it. Okay. Barbecue? We'll do barbecue first. I know, I'm excited for the recap too. I'm already excited for the next map. Like, give me something else, you know? So satisfying. Just remember that was the thing oh the recaps at the end yes i wonder if it'll just time lapse the whole thing i don't know we shall see nice <clears throat> That dirty? Yes. The music is a vibe. Yeah, I figured we'd do something else aside from our normal jazz for cleaning, you know? <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit, that was under that. <gasps> nice, nice. Thank you, Tammy. I know this is such like a satisfying freaking game. <laughs> like so nice to just clean. That's a funky spot. I probably got it. Oh, <gasps> yes. You're loving this game? Yeah, me too. Has anyone else seen a Twitch recap on desktop? It says it's new. It told me how many days Julia has streamed. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. And how many messages were sent in chat this month. Yes, I've seen that, that is new. I think it's just like a fun thing about the streamer you're watching or something. I'm not really sure what the point of it is other than pretty much just giving analytics of who you're watching. Weep. You jump so high. Yes. <gasps> yes. It's so sad as why. Look at that. Look at the trees in the back too. This is like such a cute little area. I like that it's sunny. It's an excellent way to shut off the brain. Oh yes, 100%. Nice. Oh, 
Look at this. <laughs> Look at this little car. Wow. Wow. Cute. Up. <gasps> Kim, hi. Oh, how the time flies. Just like the birds, Kim. Kim, hi. Welcome in. We're power washing. Hello. Happy seven months. I have to share that I'm cat sitting the cutest cat right now. His name is Ernie and he's the he's a rescued cat that used to be feral. But now he is the sweetest, most lovely cat ever. He's also a little quirky. He's polydactyl, got a nub at the end of his tail, and his back legs are a little wonky, so he sits funny, but he's the sweetest cat that is just living his best life. Say say, thank you so much for sharing. That is very cute. That's very cute. If you're taking pictures of the kitty at all, I mean, unless they, for some reason, I mean, I guess it's not your cat, but if you want to share and you think it's okay to, you could post in like the Fluffy Friends channel on Discord. Unless you already have and I, and I haven't seen it yet. I think everything here is good. <gasps> I wonder what color this couch is. White, like a beige. <gasps> Oh, wow. Yucky. Wow. The gas thingy is still dirty, I believe. Oh, no, I got the gas thing. Oh, you know what? You probably said that the second I finished it, I bet. I wish I could afford a backyard like this. Yeah. This would be nice to have this big of a backyard. I had this big of a backyard when I was a kid. But back when I was a small, small baby child, it didn't cost as much as it does now to have a backyard this big. It's a casting couch, Halsey. Oh, wow, okay. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to like focus on right now. That couch isn't white. Eggshell. Hopefully this gets it all down here. Ah, I kind of did it. Weep. Nice. Okay. Chains on that side done. Wow. This is so relaxing. It's for swingers. Oh my God. Swingers. Did you guys ever like get to experience um, like a, or, or, I mean, a swing chair. I don't even know. Have y'all ever sat one of those? They're pretty nice. My, my grandma's neighbor had a really nice one. I remember sitting in that as a kid. Not a sec, y'all. A swinging bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swing and bench. You have one on your condo balcony. Very nice. I have um I have a Costco like soccer mom type chair that swings. 
thanks to TikTok, I think they went viral on TikTok. And that, that was like one of the first products that I saw on TikTok where I was like, I'm going straight to Costco right now. I need that. And Costco had a bunch of them. They weren't like sold out. But it's like a soccer mom chair, but a swinging one. Like there's like, you just swing on it. It's very nice. Wait, I want to get on this. I can run, right? Woo! I need to figure out how to, uh... How do you use the ladder? Oh my god, yeah, it is a snipe. That's so funny. Use your stool? How do you do that? I'm pressing all the things. It's behind you? What? Oh. Oh. Fuck yeah, this is what I want to do. I'm satisfied. Purple hamster, hi! Yes. Very cozy time. Shit. I think this is good now. I think this entire thing is good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Purple Hamster. I hope you're having a good evening. Hello. It's giving Cirque du Soleil. Oh, the... Which bit? The, la the ladder? Nitty gritty parts. <laughs> Lawn mower cleaned. <laughs> or the other yeah, bit. Can't tell where the last part is. Okay. I think we're good with that. Hi, Tay. Yes, it is very brain itching. Very nice. This is the last bit, you guys. I think this is it. This shed. Oops. This door is pretty gnarly. Beautiful. Oops. Wrong button. <gasps> Ooh. Nice. The trim of the garden too. <gasps> oh, over here. Oh, I missed that. Thank you. I want to get this done. I'm 
dun 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 You missed the flower bed by the barbecue? Oh. I did. That's the one I just... I just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Unlucky way to hang a horseshoe? I didn't know that there was different ways to hang horseshoes. Clearly, I am not a horse girl. <gasps> oh. I go back to the other playlist. The chat is definitely broken. I can only see my chats. Uh oh. Uh oh. Horse girls make do. <sighs> I need to get my, uh, my, uh, my ladder. Oh, that was quick. Oh, this is the shed as a whole? Wow, oh my God, I want flying. Hi, Fanta. Hi, Laugh. Also, hi, KK Zep. <sighs> I can't read. That's okay. That's fair. Feels good to have the camera back. Much love. Though I think it's just pronounced Zo, right? Or correct me if I'm wrong. But hi! Welcome in. Good evening. I love watching this game so much. Yeah. I'm I'm about would you guys be sad if I became a power washing main? Or is this like fantastic for you too? I mean, I wouldn't become a power washing main, obviously, but I, w I definitely want to play this more. Not at all. <laughs> this is so relaxing. Oh, that's its own thing. pawn liner oh my goodness we are almost done oops stop it stop it i can't pick it up oh i was too close to it nice people out there are league of legend mains <laughs> so you could do way worse hey not yucking anyone's yums. League of Legends is supposed to be pretty fun. I wouldn't know. I've never tried it. But I've heard the community on Twitch is not so amazing. It is love. Yeah. Animal Crossing playlist. You are correct.
I think there's probably under bits of this shit I need to do. Yep. Oops. <gasps> oh, that's it. We're done, I think. Yeah, that did it all. Okay, the water bowl. Oh, we missed the water bowl. Sorry, puppy dog. And the pond liner. Oh, shit. Hello? Oh, this one didn't get done all the way. Hello? <gasps> we did it! The backyard's done! Oh my god, look at it! Wow! We gotta get a, a wave of GGs. We did it. Good game. This is a fantastic game. Good game. We're gonna have to watch. We get to watch the playback. I know six hundred dollars for the whole backyard. Wow! Oh, look how beautiful. Nice. It's so pretty. We clean the heck out of that yard. Backwards over toy car. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Look at us go! Satisfying. <gasps> Are we gonna choose? Oh my god. Wait, the playground looks really cool. But the dirt bike would be really easy because I, I feel like that'd be really fast. I kind of just want to get this out of the way. Should we do the dirt bike really quick because that'll be super quick? I'm going to do the dirt bike really quick because that's probably going to take like a minute. And then let's do the playground. That'll be cool. Wow. Julia Bucket's a resub. Yeah, this is going to be super quick. Dirt bike. Pog. Yeah, this is gonna be like 60 seconds. Ding, ding, ding. last bit is this tire. Ninety six percent of the way done. Not just the under bits, probably. Oh yeah, right here. 99% cleaned! Where's the final little scratch? Oh god. Rear fender. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. 
Julia fucking threes up. Happy to catch stream tonight. I just got an offer this morning from Acton San Francisco to be a teaching artist for the summer. So excited for my biggest theater job yet what to fluff. Crystal, congratulations on the job offer. That is very exciting. Oh my God, look at us go. Clean as an egg, you're a legend. Nothing can stop me now. We'll start with his bench, I guess. <gasps> this is a red, whoa! I did not think that was gonna have color to it like that. Wow. Why is six mad at seven? Because seven, eight, nine, and six liked having fun with nine. That's a different way to tell that joke. A skeleton walks into a bar and asks for a beer and a mop. I want to understand. bench wow oh wow it looks all rainbow at first and then it's just not a rainbow the bin Can a skeleton drink? Think about it. Oh. That's, that's funny. Oh my god, I can like feel what that material feels like to stand on. Not on the playground, hey! Hey, yo, I'm all gonna wear. Go. 
Wow. <gasps> okay. <gasps> Beautiful. Wow. Oh, that lights up. Let's get this part done first. That makes more sense. You missed a spot? Thank you, Wow. Wow. Julia Bucket. Parker! <gasps> Haven't watched in a while. Happy to be back one of Cozy. Thank you, Jay. Welcome back. Happy six months. Yeah, Pal has um he's one of our artists. He's our emote artist. I gave two more artist badges out and it went to Linnea and Meg because Linnea um, is going to be editing our YouTube videos, which I'm super excited to have her a part of the team. And then also um, Meg, who is one of Linnea's friends as well, does um, did our intro for a... Uh, for the video, which I'm obsessed with. It is so cute. I posted a snippet of it on Twitter, if you just care to look at like what the intro looks like, but we also have our first video posted and I've already got my next one up. Our next one's gonna be a Jario video, by the way. I haven't announced that, but it's gonna be one of the Jario videos that was one of the funniest nights in little snippets. So I'm excited to publish that one. It'll be goofy. I was laughing. It's a 20 minute video too. It's a longer one. And we're gonna have like the Cory playthrough up and stuff and Poppy playtime and just little playthroughs I've done. Very excited. Yeah, Linnea is fantastic. So Linnea and Meg and Pal are, 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 are our artists that have the badge right now. But Pal does all of our emotes. So all the cutesy drawn versions of me on our emote list, Pal's done. He's fantastic. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's very nice. Oh, that's so realistic. Like it doesn't, it leaves a line for which the water didn't pass because this hit the pole. 10K sub stream video, like a dirt, like a, like just that like last hour of where it was chaos, Wyo. That would be wild. I cut my bangs on stream because I hit 10,000 subs. That was, that was the wildest night ever. That, that, felt, that whole entire process of that entire month just felt like a fever dream. I can't even believe that still happened. That was, yeah, it was chaos. Oh, each. Oh, each of these has their own little thing. Okay. Cool. Like I replied to the tweet, the unhinged comfy chaos is in YouTube now. Yeah, exactly. I've had so many people ask me to, and I just have never gotten around to doing it. And I don't really have a bunch of free time to do it. Um, and if, I mean, I, I could potentially have free time to edit my own videos, but the thing is, if I did that, then I would have no time to do anything else in my life. And I feel like that's when Content creation can be really, really draining if you do it all on your own sometimes. And sometimes you have to do that, you know? Paying for editors and having a team isn't like the easiest thing to get to do. But I figured I've waited so long and I haven't ever really done YouTube that, you know, I should probably just do it because I've had so many people tell me to and like, ask about it. I'm like, I don't do it. I just go live on Twitch and that's it. Maybe post on, well, I mean, I post on Twitter. I use Twitter as Twitter, but 
as far as like putting Twitch content out into the other parts of the world, I've never done that really, so. Or if I do it, it's just like little clips or something. Part of the job. Yeah. We shall see. It's nice when people forget to watch a playthrough and won't get deleted on YouTube unless you do it. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. But cause Twitch just will remove it. But I do highlight all the playthroughs on Twitch too. But pretty much I'm probably just gonna just move them to, uh, to YouTube. Oh. Beautiful. Ray, have a good sleep. You're welcome. Thank you for watching and hanging out. Mm. See how much longer the playlist had. The YouTube player is a little bit more intuitive than Twitch. Yeah, and the ads are nowhere near as painful usually. That is true. I don't even know if ads pop up on my video because I can't monetize them yet. In order to like make an income on YouTube or to make money off of the videos on YouTube from like AdSense, you have to have 1,000 um, subscribers, I believe, which I think I have over 2,000 now, which is neat and cool, but uh, you have to have, I think it read 4,000 watch hours within the last 365 days and I haven't posted really at all so I don't have those watch hours yet so I can't even make uh Mooney on the tube yet which is fine oh baby Small blue floor. I love that the floors are just like their own color. Oh, that's so satisfying. <gasps> wow, so vibrant. Wonderful thumbnail for a YouTube video. Th Linnea's doing the thumbnails too. She's good at them. Cause I just kind of want just like simple thumbnails, you know? Linnea did the thumbnail also. Hi, Marceline, welcome. If you... If and when you build a new PC, you can use to record and the other to stream. Oh, if I were to do two PCs for streaming, that is fair. I don't even know how to do that. I'm happy with my PC now. I mean, I could easily upgrade stuff like inside of it, like graphics cards and stuff. But as of right now, it does everything pretty okay. Like, I don't need to. <clears throat> ah if you ever want illustrated youtube thumbnails let me know i've been making some Ooh! noted pal that is good to know oh my god cute i know chris has been doing a lot of like um custom uh illustrated youtube thumbnails and it's really like they're really clever i forget wait does anyone know off the top of their head the name of um Chris's thumbnail artist. They tagged me in their latest one on Twitter and their name was right there, but I'm blinking on it. Very talented. Nyx? Is it Nyx? And Nyxia, yes, yes, yes. They are so like creative with their little Among Us thumbnails that they do and like all the other stuff. Very cool. So yeah, Pal would be a, a great person to ask about that because Pal does um, our emotes. So not only would Pal make incredible thumbnails, Pal like, you know, is part of who we are anyway. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to get the red outline done.
Yeah, exactly, Marceline. It's it's cool. It's unique. <gasps> Large red floor. Oh, it goes all the way around, I bet. I feel like this has been my favorite hose so far. I think it's just, yeah, 15. It's like strong and the right, just like the right amount of satisfying. Should probably clean this. If you squint just right, it looks like you are violently shaking a penguin around. <laughs> I can see that. I want to get a new skin for the uh, the little uh, power washer. I wonder if we can do that yet. all white it would look like my among us character a little bit right hold on we can't really see that until the end i want to see oh we can't buy it yet we can buy this right now Oh, it started the other one. Here we go. Um, what am I wanting to do? How do I change the color of my gun? Does anyone know? Oh, is that a gun that I don't have yet? The heavy duty washer? Is that why? Oh, I can't buy this yet. It's this, isn't it? We don't have enough money for it. But also 25. I think that this is like the 15 is like our level, right? I want the donut one. Yum. <clears throat> so that you can sprint on the big maps. Oh, you get five stars for finishing a job. I see. That's nice. I'm glad we decided to do career mode because it kind of gives us, you know, stuff to work towards, which is extra satisfying well, what if we did like like a full like landscape right now Crag no one's supposed to be mountains. 
you hear that the mayor's cat, Ulysses, is missing? The whole town's on a lookout for him, and time for the festival. We won't have spring till he's put on that hat. What? To be honest, if I had to wear that hat, I'd go missing. What the hell? NFT it? Absolutely fucking not. One thing that makes me kind of sad, I used to repost a lot of like artists work, like a lot of landscape photography of like landscape artists I've seen on Twitter, but it became really, really, really like a really big trend for like landscape photographers to put their work on as an NFT, you know? I don't know if that's like the right terminology for it, but like to get into NFTs. And so now if I see a really pretty picture on like Twitter, like landscape wise from a photographer, I always like tend to go to their like bio because almost every single landscape photographer in their bio shows like a link to their NFTs. And then I'm like, Ugh. because obviously it's like a big environmentally friendly thing. And they're all like, you know, trying to praise how much they want to preserve and protect the environment and love nature. But like they're selling their NFTs and I'm like, but there's this one, there is this one photographer I found recently and in her bio, she says not into NFTs with a kiss face emoji. And I was like, yes. And she's got great work. And I'm like, oh my God, yes, please. I almost wanted to DM her saying like, thank you. <laughs> if you know any other landscape photographers who also don't care for NFTs or don't support them, please let me know. But yeah, I used to like repost so many different like pictures, but now I feel just like uncomfortable if they're just like selling NFTs. Like really, really pretty pictures, but I'm like, ugh. It's like such a huge trend for like landscape photographers right now. And my, I feel like, have it, has anybody noticed like NFTs dying down at all though? Cause I feel like nobody's talking about them anymore. So maybe they're fallen. That's what a lot of people were predicting anyway. This is music to my ears. They're crashing hard. Yeah, NFTs can be like really harmful to artists as well. You know, people steal artwork all the time and claim it as their own and all that. There's a lot of problems with it. Your friend still buys them. Yeah, I know people personally who still buy them, too. I'm not really close with them, but... Oh, sorry, I was not doing this. Yeah, I've never really understood them 100% either. I got to understand, like, why they're not really good, but I still don't really understand why people want them. I mean, they make money. That's why people want to be a part of them, right? <gasps> Yay! All right, I'm thinking dinosaur next. Yeah, let's do the outside of this and then yellow bit and then we can do the dinosaur. I've heard so many stories of people taking art and making NFTs out of them. Yep, it's very common. Very, very common, unfortunately. The only people I follow that do NFTs are puss Pussy Riot, but they're doing it to raise and donate a shit ton of money for a good cause. I think I heard that about St. Jude, I believe. St. Jude is doing NFTs, or they were doing NFTs this year. But then after... I think they kind of got called out for it. They um, are donating all of it to charity as well. Or something like that. But I, I do know that apparently St. Jude was doing NFTs, which I was a little bit disappointed to hear because I, I love St. Jude. St. Jude is awesome. But I think they Uno reverse carded it and... Yeah, Francis. Color 
Star Star Joe. Welcome in, Joe. Hello. <sighs> I know, Satan Jude makes a lot of money. But obviously, going to a beautiful, great cause and like, it's all very well, well spent. But they definitely get a lot of, a lot of money. But cancer research and those kind of hospitals and everything, like it costs a lot, you know, for all over the world and everything, or specifically also the, the states. Like they need all of it, but they do definitely get a lot of support, which is great. Doing NFTs for charity makes no sense because it's so bad for the environment. Yeah, that's why I was like so confused with like landscape artists who praise the outdoors getting into them, you know? 7P. I wanted to come in and say NFTs are so bad that people even sell screenshots of popular online. Yeah, it's, it's, it got really convoluted to know like what's really real or not because people will literally just screenshot and resell it it's just so bizarre it's a, it's just got into such a messier concept than it even started out got a little cute dino face he's so colorful oh um nessa happy 16 months by the way and also nemo happy nine months i hope you like your uh New baby badge, the baby blue badge. Welcome in Nemo and Nessa. How does it harm the environment? I don't like them, I'm just genuinely curious. Um, does anyone like, I, I'm not gonna be able to explain it well at all cause I haven't done like far close to enough research on everything it does. But if anyone knows more than I do, and can like sum it up a tldr i guess crypto mining takes a metric fuck ton of electricity to run yeah that not that that Yeah, they're like they're linked to crypto money, and that's like the base of it. Can I go under this? Oh, almost. Nice. I want to get this green bit down. This green floor bit. I know that one transfer of an NFT uses up the same amount of electricity as powering a three-story house for like a day or two. Holy fuck. I've never heard that metric. Holy shit. One transfer of an NFT uses up the same amount of electricity as powering a three-story house for a day or two. How? Wow. The worldwide crypto market uses more energy per year than an entire country of the entire country of Argentina. Why? Why is crypto so energy cost? Like what? 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 How, like, what is? What are the? What? What is it? Like why is it doing that? Like I've definitely I've heard all of that, but I've never thought like. What, how? Like, what? what is it? And how is it doing that much? I think Johnny would get a lot more support if he just sold them instead of making them NFTs because the term barely applies, except I think he's using crypto for it. Either way, it could be make, it could make a lot better process. Mm. Proof of work blockchains, Bitcoin takes a ton of processing power, which translates into electricity usage. 
because Bitcoin in particular is a finite resource, so it's harder and harder to create more. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to like visualize it, but. Oh my God, it looks like st stinky poopy on the slide. Oh, I can just walk up it. Oh, cute. Oh, there's, oh, there's stairs. Can I like slide down it? Not really. A crypto is hundreds on computers running at full speed to do math equations to mine currency. Okay, that's a good, I like how Pal put that. Okay, that makes more sense. A crypto is hundreds on computer, hundreds of computers running at full speed to do math equations to mine the currency. Hi, Julia. That, okay, that makes sense. I needed to, it to be kind of painted out like that. Imagine hundreds of expensive computers in a huge house just running. Wow, okay, yeah, no, 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 that I got, I get that, I get that. Okay, that makes sense. <gasps> Linnea, look at your fucking cute artist badge. That looks really good with your blue name. Imagine just entire warehouses of only computers running constantly to keep all the crypto running. Wow. Yeah, cause it's just like online money constantly having to be ran. Okay, wow. Yep, and it's very cost efficient cause Wow. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Frankie, happy six months, by the way. Hello. Damn. Yeah. And the more people get into it, the more horrible it is because I imagine they need more computers, right? To run even more things if there's more people doing it they need more space or something right they got to keep upgrading it or up doing more stuff this guy's so cute What a cutie. I've just joined a new job as a junior developer a few months ago. A great team and everything, but recently me and my colleagues have been transferred to a new project, basically an NFT marketplace, and I feel just awful. Oh no. Yeah, I wonder if the jobs for those kind of places are becoming more demanding because of how like popular it was becoming or like widespread it was becoming. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, what a funky market. Little dino rump, yeah. This little bot. Can't get all the way under though. Uh, can I use the word stupid? It's not a nice word, but is it ableist? Um, uh, stupid is an ableist word, yes. <clears throat> I believe so, right? Because I think it's referring to someone who is like in a, um, in a non-controllable way, like unintelligent. I don't, I don't know the best way to describe the, the literal term for a, like someone like a stupid person, right? Does anyone know like what the the term for stupid is in an ableist form, like in an ableist definition? People, yeah, people with intellectual disabilities, yeah. 
Exactly. So there are people out there who would be like, in, in a literal sense, stupid, but to call someone who doesn't have intellectual disabilities, like in a medical sense, stupid is an ableist term. Yeah. So, and as, especially to describe a situation as that is an ableist term too. But it's a very, obviously it's a very common word that we all use for a lot of things, but I've definitely, I've definitely just been saying like silly or something, you know? Or ridiculous ridiculous is a good substitute silly obviously but yeah but moth that, that's very kind of you like the fact that you even like asked or like thought about it is like such a huge thing in itself you know like that should be like applauded like you thought about it and you asked and like that's awesome Yeah, I use ridiculous all the time. <laughs> Intelligence is also very subjective metrics that attempt to objective, uh, objective, objectively define it, such as IQ tend to be extremely racist as well. Mm, mm-hmm. Yes. Panthros, thank you for the two months. Hello. Welcome in. We are cleaning a purple yellow dinosaur. I get sad about the B word and it's so commonly used and it makes me just feel the weight of patriarchy every time I hear it. I think I'm the minority on that one though. I'm trying to think of what B word you're talking about and I'm Sorry, that's not coming to my mind right now. Oh, bitch. Oh, really? I definitely say bitch a lot, like it, like SOB. That's not one that I've considered or thought of. The whole concept of IQ was developed to be a racist tool to make black folks seem inferior. Wow. I did not know that piece of information. That's wild. Yeah, if a word makes you uncomfortable, then that's like, nobody should invalidate you for feeling uncomfortable with a word. You know, if you're uncomfortable with a word, then you're uncomfortable with a word. And if you request people not to use it around you or specifically direct it to at you, I mean, if you're in a space where you hear it, like that's, I guess, a little bit different. But if someone's just one on one with you and they can't respect that, then, you know, it's not really a good sign. These little like things are so satisfying to clean because they're just like a little one at a time type thing. Just like the B the BMI is not complete completely not intended for POC bodies. Yeah, BMI is really just not at all consistent. Look how cute he is. He's so clean. Yeah, BMI is awful. Like my BMI will say things that you don't want to hear because a lot of my weight will go to like my boobs. But every other thing is like fine, like in a literal sense, right? And it's like, it's just, it's, it, I feel like it, the way that the um like the whole entire BMI system works is just it's so generalized and outdated but also probably something we we shouldn't like delve into just because I know that's kind of a topic that's touchy so let's let's not like delve into that kind of conversation of course just out of respect of the topic
Y'all remember we fit? Oh. Not to continue the topic, but we fit caused me to be very sad. Well, not sad. I wasn't actually sad, but it made me do not good things in middle school because I had a wee fit in my bedroom and I will not go into a lot of detail because I know it's a sensitive topic, but yes, we fit was not kind to children. Young adults, not good. Probably even adults, but young adults especially. Fuck we fit. The games were fucking bangers though. I love the Wii Fit games. Like I, I had a lot of fun, but also fuck the concept of having the scale. Exactly, Zen. It was really, really awful. It wasn't triggering to me at the time, but it started something that later became something that was not as great. Ooh, I know, Wyo, that's very true. There are it's, there are a lot of like good things on TikTok, obviously, but there's a lot of not great things on TikTok. It depends like where you end up on there, you know? Because there's it's just such a variety of content on there. Also, Moro, hello. I don't think I said hi to you, hi. <laughs> Let's talk about water. Water is amazing, yes. Thank you, I shall hydrate. What is water? Oh, there's dogs in this game? What should we change the topic about? What do you guys want to talk about? What's a, what's a good icebreaker question? <laughs> What's everyone's favorite? Hmm. <gasps> Pow! Congrats! Oh, that sounds peaceful. Did you get to like open a window and listen to it? Was it like a hot storm? Ooh! Okay, actually, yeah. If you've ever power washed in real life, like put a, put a one in chat, if you've ever power washed in real life. And if you have never power washed in real life, just do a zero. I would have to put a zero. I don't think I've ever power washed in real life. One, it is not relaxing. Is a great option, Scatel. Yes, Scott. Allie's great. All right, a lot of people. A lot of people haven't. What is a song that you think captures your own vibe and personality? I don't know. Maybe Milk. I really love Milk Bar. It's like our intro song, and also the um, the. Uh, the intro song on our YouTube video, like our, our YouTube video intros that we just um, published. Milk Bar is so happy and it's just fun. And I like fell in love with that song when I played Majora's Mask for the first time. That song's from Majora's Mask, by the way, from a Zelda game. It's so great. <gasps> Hi, Anthony. Zero, but someone else power washed my house before I got painted. I feel like some of the main things to power wash that I've physically seen have been like decks, like backyard decks. Bum, bum, bum. But other than that, I haven't really seen anything else get power washed. Maybe a driveway? Who would you want to play you in a bio in a biopic? What's a biopic? What is that? Ooh. Let's get this green one done. Bi biopic. Biopic? 
What is that? Biographical film? I don't know. <gasps> Hi, Curry. We even got the spinny surface washer. Wait, what? We have a power washer if y'all want to come over. <gasps> okay, I'll come over and power wash something. Oh my goodness. Oh, and here's probably. Whoa. Are we gonna play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on stream? It was one of the first games I ever streamed, actually. I, I streamed it in 2019. I would do it again. Majora's Mask is very, very complicated. Like, very complicated. I've only played it once. My first playthrough was on stream. I don't have it saved at all anywhere, unfortunately, but I would play it again. And I guarantee you that if I played it again, I wouldn't know what the hell I'm doing because I've only done it once. And I probably would have forgotten a lot other than like, obviously like main town and kind of like, I don't know, locations maybe. Like I can kind of visualize the map a little bit, but as far as puzzles go, like clueless, man, I would not know. Would make a good YouTube video. That's true. You've only played it once. You're definitely not going to survive the three day challenge. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't, I'm not going to remember anything. Like maybe some stuff to do at the very beginning, you know, like with a clock tower and like the, all that, but I'm not, I'm just, I, I'm going to feel lost. I feel. I've never played Minish Cap. That would be a first playthrough. Fun fact, when I first started streaming, obviously I started with Fortnite, right? I, Cause I just wanted to stream as a hobby. And then I got a Nintendo Switch for Christmas one year. And then I had gotten Breath of the Wild for it. My favorite song. I had gotten Breath of the Wild um, and I loved Zelda. I like was a huge fan of Ocarina at time. And that was, I, I was like the kind of kid that would play Ocarina of Time like five times a year. Like I really enjoyed Ocarina of Time as a kid. Um, and uh, so when Ocarina of Time, or sorry, when Breath of the Wild came out, I was super excited to play it. And then I was like, well, I've been sort of streaming and I've been streaming Fortnite. I could play Breath of the Wild. I forgot that I don't need to hold down M1. My finger is like almost hurting because of that. Um, and so that's when I started streaming, like as a variety streamer, because I literally only streamed Fortnite before. And you know, nothing really happened obviously because it's Fortnite and it was back when Fortnite was even more like saturated of a, you know, game on Twitch than it is now. Um, but yeah, so I switched to Variety and I remember thinking that it was going to do har more harm than good if I wanted to like do anything on Twitch. And I was so wrong. <laughs> That's like when a community actually started happening and I got to like actually meet people. It was such a weird experience. I was like, oh, people want to watch Breath of the Wild? <laughs> like, obviously go figure. Um, but then I only thought that I was going to play Zelda games. I thought that I was going to be like a variety Zelda streamer for a long time. And I was only doing Zelda games, really. Because that's what I thought was, you know, people found us through Breath of the Wild. They just want to see Zelda stuff, you know? And there was a lot of Zelda games I had never played. Like, I'd never played Wind Waker, never played Twilight Princess. 
Never played Skyward Sword. Never played like Link's Awakening. All of like the originals I never played. Oh, not the CDI games. I've heard not the best things about that. Hmm? Wonder if I should maybe push to this. Windwaker did give me that specific clip. Wait, are you talking about my car? Like when I when I met my car and I like fell in love with my car. Once you get the community, the core will follow you through whatever you play. Why? Oh, exactly. And I like never even contemplated that. I thought like, oh, well, Zelda it is, I, which I had no issue with. I love Zelda games. And then I remember the first non-Zelda game I ever streamed really was um, The Last of Us. And I remember thinking, I'm so excited to play The Last of Us, but I don't think anybody's going to show up because everyone just likes Zelda. But, you know, <laughs> I was like, I'm still super excited to play The Last of Us because I heard it's really good. And you guys, guess what? The funniest thing. Go figure. People who enjoy Zelda games also enjoy other games. <laughs> It, it's not only just Zelda. Who would have thought that people like more than just one franchise? Like, why did I think that like, oh, no one's gonna care for The Last of Us. If anything, I think The Last of Us was busier than Zelda even was. And I was like, whoa, people, what the hell? And it was in that moment that I knew that I didn't have to be a Zelda streamer forever. It was kind of funny. And then I started doing other games. I did Until Dawn after that. I did Hollow Knight. Oh, fuck yeah. It was like such a freeing experience. I was like, I don't have to do Zelda forever? Whoa. And never since then, I just did whatever I wanted and haven't really worried about anything since. Oh, Stardew was so good. I very much so enjoyed our Stardew era. I, I mean, I wanted to keep playing Phasmophobia, to be honest. Like, I'm down for more Phasmo, another Phasmo era. That, like, they're gonna be releasing a lot of new stuff. And that would be fun. The ding is your favorite sound. It's so good. Hi, Grenz. It is a beautiful sound. All right, we go back to 15. No, I haven't. You know why? When I was getting um, Power Wash Simulator, I saw that Raft was on sale on Steam. Have y'all played Raft? I haven't played it, but I, I've heard that Raft is good. And it's also multiplayer. Your Power Washing method stressing me out? Why? In what way? What way do you do it? What's better? I am open to backseat gaming. Raft is a very good game, cozy with friends. Really? Oh, the side to side is up and down better for you? What do you want? What would make you happy more? Oh, what would you like? No, but seriously, is there a better way to do it? Or are you just not like the wrap it up and down? Clean straight lines? Is that better? Is that more satisfying? Oh, yes. Okay. Straight. <laughs> I think it's distressing because my arms feel sympathetically tired from rapid movement. Oh. Yeah, we'll go nice and slow. I got to retrain my brain because I'm like just going. This is quite nice, though. It's easier on my wrist. Not that I'm really, I'm not really moving my wrist, to be honest. That's the ticket. Wow. Nice. Mm. 
Your technique brings me back to coloring with crayons. Oh. Yeah, that's how I would color with crayons. Oh, that's how I like that little, uh, you know, analogy. Coloring with crayons. I love it, like the dog barking ambience. Trying to train my brain to go slow. I sound like my therapist. Sometimes I talk to my therapist and she's just like, slow down. You need to slow down. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. I do. <laughs> uh. I haven't played that Moro. I think you were the one to like, uh, to like, uh, suggest it, right? Like you said, it's really good. We need to bring the ladder into this too. You feel bad if you interrupt your therapist? Does anyone else go to their therapist feeling like they have nothing to talk about and then talk not and and then talk nonstop the whole session? Yes. I think that's also like, you know, I've had that worry before too, you know, going into therapy and I'm like, I don't know what I want to talk about today. Like you get like almost anxious about not having anything to talk about. And apparently if you do feel anxious about not having anything to talk about, tell your therapist that. Tell your therapist that you feel anxiety about not having anything to talk about because that's something to work on. That in itself is something to work on with your therapist. You know, funny enough, ironically enough. Yeah, pre-session jitters, yep, I've been there. But if I got a lot to talk about, it's not as much like that, definitely. Yeah, exactly, therapists know how to talk to you, how to squeeze info out. It's their job, you know? I get so guilty because I don't know what I want to talk about some weeks. Honestly, y'all, if here's okay, here's here's my question for you guys. Do you ever feel like that when you do go to therapy and have stuff to talk about, you feel like you don't have enough time? Right? Assuming you all maybe have like hour sessions, right? Does it ever feel like that? But sometimes going once a week, it feels like not enough happens in your life to talk about it, right? Like there's sometimes you'll go in and then you'll be like, fuck, I, like nothing happened in the last week. I don't really have a lot to talk about. Here is the beautiful trick I, I did. If your therapist schedule allows it, go every other week for two hours. So it's the same price, but you have more to talk about because you've had two weeks, but you get to stay for two hours and talk about it all. It's the, it's like the perfect wiggle spot for me, or what's the word I'm thinking of? It's like the perfect, uh, like perfect ratio. That, that's what I, that's what I do. I will go every other week for two hours. And it's perfect because enough happens that I can talk about stuff and I have enough, it feels like I have enough time to talk about it. And it's the same price as going once a week for an hour. I feel like the session is done just as I get going. Yeah, when I switched to two hour sessions, oh my God, it's, it was perfect. 
Like it doesn't like an hour goes by fast, but two hours is a comfortable time if you know like if you got stuff to talk about. Oh, thank you, Moro. Yeah, we do have a mental health like resource thing. It's it's pretty awesome. It's got lots of information on there if anybody is ever curious. I feel bad because my therapist helped me so much for a while and I was diagnosed with ADHD and he doesn't specialize in it, so I won't go back now, I guess. We were pretty much done. I'm just gonna miss seeing him. He was very good. Yeah. Well, you still have his contact info, right? Like, say if you if something came up and you wanted to go back. Hopefully it's not the end. You can always go back to a therapist to just, you know, catch up, talk about your life. And maybe that would be really comforting, you know? Like, if you can go back and just have a session with them and, like, do a catch-up, kind of like an old friend. Because you'll go in there and you'll remember how much they've helped and you just, you know, associate good vibes with them. So you just go back and kind of catch up and... I mean, obviously, you never have to. You can be done with a therapist and say, see ya. Never go back. But sometimes, you know, you miss them. They kind of feel like a friend almost, you know? Especially if they're cool, like... What are they talking about? Rubbers. Whoa, hardly knew her. Oh, he's retiring to that. Yeah, okay, that changes things, obviously. Wow, each block has its own thing. Lots of dings. Yeah, Wyo. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. <laughs> I'll see. Any rubbers in chat? Excuse me. would have been good doing the cracks over there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. <sighs> okay. A clean crack is a happy crack. Yes, sir. Also, okay, this is super off topic, but uh, yesterday's GMM episodes, they did something that I was hoping they'd do at some point in their career. They did a, and y'all will know that, y'all will understand why I was so excited about this video. They did a Qdoba versus Chipotle video. I talk about Qdoba and Chipotle, like whenever I order those foods and stuff, you know? And when I saw that, I was so excited. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, this is right at my alley. Qdoba won. Qdoba won. They did a bunch of different, like, uh, you know, verses. They did, like, tacos, burritos, all different kinds of meats and stuff. And they liked... Uh, Qdoba had the most points. I'm telling y'all, people sleep on Qdoba because Chipotle is a little bit more popular. They've got more locations. Qdoba's it. Will this impact your decision making in the future? Eh. I mean, I've always kind of gone for Qdoba, so not necessarily, but. That really reaches up there all the way. We need to get the ladder. Wait, hold on. Let me finish the ground first before I start working up there. I 
I live in a very small, close-minded town, so I've yet to come out of my trans, come out as trans to my therapist, for fear she may have a bad reaction to it. Ooh, um, <sighs> Bailey, out of curiosity. Also, hi. Thank you so much for being like comfortable enough here to even bring that up. That's very like humbling that you are just comfortable enough to even like speak of that. That's awesome. Um, if you have free time, I don't know if you know this, but um, you should see search your therapist on a website called psychology today because they will have um if you can find your therapist on there um they should have if they're like allies or like they they have that kind of thing like like they're allies in that regard or they're um i think allies is just like the word they use like uh like a vegan ally trans ally lgbtqia plus ally so you could kind of like see if they, they should have a portfolio on there. Most therapists have a profile on that website and you can see if they are. And then if they, if it shows that they are on there, then hopefully that can be a good sign for you to come out to them whenever you feel comfortable. But I don't know if you knew that piece of information. I know you said small town, but they might be on that website. It's like, it's like the Facebook for therapists, you know? So, wow. if you didn't know. Hi, Eric. Power wash simulator on my heart I love. <laughs> Eric, happy 33 months. I'm very excited for your, your Breath of the Wild stuff. I know you're saying maybe sometime later this year, but I'm freaking thrilled. Eric's been working on a... Uh, Co not co-op, uh, multiplayer, like more than two people, up to four. Uh, Breath of the Wild, like a, um, a, uh, oh my God, what the hell would you categorize that as? A mod? A mod. Yeah, we should play some time. You'd have to definitely walk me through how to fuck my Switch up to even allow it to do that. But yes, I, I would love to. A multiplayer mod, yeah. Like he's already been testing it and stuff and it it works pretty well. There's like little bugs and, and stuff that they're gonna be working on and fixing and stuff, but it's gonna be maybe ready maybe later this year or something. Hide and go seek some time? Uh, yes. Oh my God, that sounds like so much fun. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get rid of the nut. Say goodbye. The final nut. So close to two years since I found this cozy stream. Oh, Eric, sounds good. Yes. I saw um, you and a few others. I know Sam was in there. I don't remember who else it was, but I saw Sam. So that's awesome that it's kind of sort of almost ready. That's really exciting. Tylus, thank you for the 23. Hi. Yeah, your very last month until two years. Happy almost two years. See you in that. All right. Oh, is it in this little house, this last bit? Oh yeah. I wonder if this is where the green was too. Oh, nice. Oh, maybe here. Oh, perfect. Oh my God, look how vibrant. Oh, let's go get like this outside stuff. Gone, but not for gone. Killer stilettos, hi, I like your name. Stilettos are killer, I can't wear them. I can't wear heels at all. I feel like I'm not a good femme when it comes to that. I can't do heels. <laughs> like, no thank you. My feet hurt almost immediately. 
I wish I could. They're very cute, but I just, I can't do heels. I could if I had to, but I'd prefer to not do heels. Playing real life games. Hi, Mad Knight. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty real, I'd say. Oh my God, this is almost done. Come on. Inside? Nice. Oh, this is gonna be as vibrant as the other. Oh, baby. are too much for me too i wish they weren't like anybody who can wear heels and like fucking full-on sprint in them i applaud you i wish i could do that maybe i could train to do that but that doesn't sound like appetizing you know like there are people who full-on sprint in heels and they just like can just no problem what the hell me have you ever put on heels before anthony that would be fun to see. I'll race you in heels. I, you, I feel like you'd kick my ass, Moro. <gasps> Yay. Beautiful. Okay. We're almost done. Well, we're 66% of the way done, but this this part's gonna be fun. We're gonna go inside the little tree, not tree houses, but little playground houses, play forts. Function over form all day, every day. Yes, why I agree. I agree. Unless you're doing like photo shoots or something, but that's usually a little bit more stationary. You know? My friends and I used to go to the mall when we were like 12 and have sprint races and heels down the shoe aisle. Okay. I know we're on a topic about heels, but did y'all ever own Heelys? Did you guys ever own Heelys as kids? I know they also make adult pairs, but did you guys have them as kids? I fucked up Heelys. And you know what was super fucked up in the best way? Home Depot, department stores, and Heelys were a match made in heaven. Because those floors were so slick. Woo. Like when my dad was going to Home Depot, I was like, hold my fucking purse. I put those Heelys on and I said, I'm coming. Your girlfriend still has them? I don't think I'd be able to do them. I'd have to like reteach myself of how to like utilize Heelys. But I was great with them when I was a kid. Yeah, well, I mean, school's banning them for good reason. I mean, to be honest, they're not safe, right? <laughs> There's a lot of people who had a lot of accidents with Heelys. So it's super justified for schools to ban them, but they were still very fun. <laughs> Me and Healy's Anthony and Heels. That's funny. Oh my god. Are Healy's still made? Um, I think so. Do they, they still make them, right? I'm sure you can probably like order them on freaking Amazon or something. I'm sure there's a pair of good reviewed Heelys on Amazon you could probably get. The company still exists? Oh, cool. Well, there you go. This game needs a third person. Oh, a third person mode could be kind of cool.
I'd get a parrot immediately bust my ass. Oh yeah, I've definitely like slammed on my tailbone on Healy's. That is for sure. Oh, that's just the wood, okay. Can I like... I don't know, climbing wall, yeah, this is its own thing. Yes, beautiful. Tower, lower towel, tower wall. Oh, fuck yeah. Video pause, continue watching. Yeah, I didn't pause it. Okay. Healy's were a bit after my youth, but I have always wanted shoes that light up when you take a step. <gasps> oh my God, that reminds me. Please have a SpongeBob collab on their site right now. <laughs> SpongeBob. Are they still making SpongeBob episodes? I feel like I asked that like six months ago and I can't remember the answer. Or are they done? Um, so why a fun fact about the light up shoes. Um, I was at a wedding once that I was shooting and the bride during like after the ceremony and dinner and everything like, you know, at typical weddings, you dance at the end, you know? She had light up shoes. And so you had this bride with like, you know, a white gown and everything and then fucking light up dance shoes. And they were so cool. It was fucking sick. I loved that for her. It was so neat. Oh, they made light up Heelys? I don't think I've ever had light up Heelys, but that's pretty cool. I think mine were just pretty bland. What a mood. It was really cool. Oh, I just made a four. I thought all Heelys lit up. Um, I don't think so. The ones I had didn't light up, I don't think. They were like pink and white, I remember. But I did have light up shoes as a kid though. I remember that. Wait, they're doing a spin, I'm sorry, a spin-off series of SpongeBob? What is a spin-off series about? Why, why? Everyone must wear light up sketches to my wedding. That would actually be really cool. If, if you requested, oh, that's such a good idea actually. For like the RSVP party, you ask them to give them your shoe, their shoe size to you. And then like, if your budget allows, like you get, that would be expensive actually, depending on how big your party is for the wedding. But that would be sick. It's about Patrick. Patrick's getting a spinoff show. Is it, what is it called? Patrick? Patrick Star? Maybe that won't be half bad. Like we get Patrick lore or are people like not about it? It's called the Patrick star show. How do we feel about it? Are you guys, how are you feeling about it? Is there trailers for it? Oh, 
wait, like episodes already exist? This isn't new? Oh, what the hell? No pun intended, but I've been living under a rock. I had no idea. <clears throat> Patrick is a bit too silly for my taste, but I will watch it anyway. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Hi, Katie. What if PS, 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 what if PS, PS, PS? Katie, thank you for the 15. Happy 15 months. Lo me, happy one year as well. One whole last year. One. What if love, what if hype? Whole last year. Both cheeks. I haven't watched it, but I heard it's pretty bad. Oh, is it the same voice actor for Patrick? Did they recast him for the show? Oh my god, Lomi, it has been so nice. We've just been literally power washing and just chatting and hanging out. Like, this is probably one of my favorite things ever. Because <laughs> my brain is just, like, occupied and it's so satisfying to just power wash. Big fan. Tonight's been really, uh, tonight's been really good. We've just been doing this and it's been very nice. are horrible they go against Stephen Haw I almost read Stephen Haw as he Stephen Hawking's Stephen Hillenberg's wishes he said he didn't want any spin-offs and almost right after he died Nickelodeon announced the two of them oh no neither of them are even good and the Patrick one goes completely completely ignores old episodes by pretending his actual parents don't exist oh wow Wow. Yeah, I didn't know he died as well. Oh, baby. I think the other side of this is probably not clean. Maybe. Do the inside first. Yeah, that is really sad. I didn't know. The main show has been decreasing in quality as time has gone on too. Yeah, that, that I'm pretty aware of. There's only the occasional good episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, all the nooks and crannies. So satisfying. He was a marine biologist who wanted to teach kids about marine animals. I didn't know that piece of information either. 
crooks and grannies. Oh my god. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, the inside looks so much better. Explains why all the good episodes are before then. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would assume so. I feel like a kid watching those YouTube sensory vids. I just can't stop watching. Yeah, that, that's right. I would feel the same if, I, like, that's how I felt when I've like watched these streams. Like, I just want to just watch someone complete it. You know. Because it's just like you get committed, and you're like. I have to see what this looks like when it's done. That's at least that's how I felt when I would watch people play this game. Maybe I should go grab the ladder. I don't need it yet but I definitely want to do the top of this before we move on to the other bits power washing is just so satisfying gem I agree I get why people play this so much It makes so much sense. First time I watched someone play this was what is the point? An hour later, I realized I'd done barely any work because I was so invested. Yup. Like, what the hell is the point about a power washing simulator? But then you're like, oh my God. It's so satisfying. Like, that's how I felt too. Like, it was so satisfying to watch. And I was like, it has to be even more satisfying to play. And it is like to be in control of the power washing. It's just like it's more satisfying. Is anybody playing it right now? Anybody watching? I wonder if they are. I would. I think I, I plan to play this in the background as I watch streams on like nights off. I was, Ryan was, and Gren is. Oh my gosh. Nice. I'm curious how many more maps there are. Mm. Okay, after this little bit, I'm gonna go get the, the ladder. There's tons more, Julia, so many more. Good, oh, that makes me so happy. Cause this has been just so relaxing and the fact that there's so many more maps. How, like, is, is this like, are there maps that are like so much bigger that this, this seems small? If that makes sense? Cause this was a pretty big like map. Like there was a lot of stuff to do. Yes, dot, 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 dot. Uh oh. No way. How do I? What the fuck? How do I? Oh, I see. I see. Ah, okay.
More detailed ones too? Oh, fuck. Oh no. That's like, I'm so happy to hear that. The rating go through. Liv, did you host us? Liv, hi. When we're here, your family? Oh my God, you have an Olive Garden raid message. That's very clever. Oh my goodness. That's pretty funny. How was your stream? Can we have, oh, oh did, oh Halsey, thank you for shouting out Liv. Wait, what is, tell me why. wait, tell me why. Is, is tell me why the game that's similar to uh, Life is Strange? Is that what I'm thinking of? Thank you for hosting Liv. Molly, welcome in too. Anya, welcome in. Hi. It's the gay game. Oh, good. Wait, that's great. <laughs> it's like a gay or life is strange. Also, welcome in everyone. We're doing um, power washing simulator, uh, which this is my first time ever playing and holy shit. It is so satisfying. It's like such a good chill and talking game. It has been so nice. So we've just been playing music and power washing stuff. It's oops, so, so, it's so satisfying. It's free for Pride Month? Wait, is it actually? It's on Steam, right? Oh, I should probably just get it then if it's free. Oh, and there's trans characters in it. Ooh. You gotta get it, it's free for Pride. Good to know. I will download it then if it's just free. It's emo app, but good. Is it your first time playing it or have you played it before? Tell me why. It's the version of Life is Strange without all the psych outs? Psych outs. I bet if I go, oh, that's not as bad actually. I've never played it and it hit me in the feels. Also never watched a playthrough. Oh, so you went in with nothing. I see. Yeah, that's, I haven't seen any playthroughs of it either. I haven't watched anything. And I, I didn't watch anything because I knew that I was probably gonna play it at some point. And so just like, you know, spoiler stuff, obviously. But. Tower roof. Okay, I think it's just this side, right? Yeah. Oh, baby. Lots of good twists and turns. Got it. It's homophobic that you haven't. We should play it. That came out two years ago or was that last year? Was that a 2020 release or 2021? Oh, we can pick this up from the roof. That's kind of nice. Twenty twenty at the latest. Oh, okay. It's almost done. Oh God. I think I can put it on this side. Oh, you know what? Actually, if I use like the super squirt one, that'll work. Oh, this is also not done. How long has this song been going? Oh, it's literally the same song. I'm good. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it took me that long to realize that it was the exact same song over and over again, like looped. Is there fall damage? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Oh my God, it's almost done. It's probably just this side. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, this has to be it. Please. Give me the ding. Oh my god. It's almost. Oh. Any second now? Oh, jeez. Yes! Talking about the new water guns. Oh, what the hell did I just finish? Kind of ridiculous to get to. I guess you can kind of jump and do that. Oh, it's a nice game. God. I like this little path. It's just very nice to clear. <gasps> Hi, Alice. Good morning. Welcome in. I forgot how watching someone play this game makes me want it. Liv, you should get it. It's so therapeutic. Even just like play off stream. Oh my God. It is so nice. I had so many people recommend this and it's so good. And I've watched a little bit of it and it's so satisfying to watch. Just get it. I would recommend it. It's so fun. This is a very weird angle, but it's working. That's a dream. <sighs> well, this is nice. I play in the evening to relax. The only problem is I'm up until 2 a.m. playing. Yeah, this is definitely, um, oops, a time sucker for sure. But not in a bad way, you know? Glad to see we're still vibing. Yes, we're still vibing. We're still posing. I purchased the game, then realized my computer wasn't compatible with it. Do you, uh, how was it not compatible? Mac? Does it not run on Macs? Hmm. 
Order up. Order up. Oh yeah, Tab's my friend. Yes, thank you. <gasps> oh, that's not done. This song and then um, KK Boss, I believe, right? Only my two favorite. I think I completed these little bricks. Have you done bigger maps before this one? No, Jen, this is my first large map and I asked everyone I had mentioned are there more maps that are that make this seem super small and people were like yes dot 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 so I have no idea what I'm in for One AM music and New Leaf. Ooh. New Leaf has really good music. One AM. This is a very one AM vibe. Yeah, Ringo, it is. Very nice. I would listen to this song on repeat. Also, another game I saw on sale on Steam was The Sims. I thought The Sims runs on a different client than Steam, or did it move to Steam, or it works on Steam now? Does anyone know? So, like, if you get it on Steam, does it still have to open through Origin? Oh, is it on both now? Sims 3 is on Steam, I know. Yeah. I saw that today when I was getting this one. download sims 4 on your pc oh yeah wait sims 3 is sims 4 not on steam mm 
Four is on Steam. It's still five. Oh, okay. Five dollar. I remember the first thing I did, and I feel like this isn't uncommon, but the first thing I did when I got The Sims 4 was immediately just try to make the house that I had lived in and the people in the house that are there, which was such a bad decision. Like the house bit was cool. It was cool to like test that and like try to build it. That was cool. But when I like made me and like my partner at the time and like, I think Alfred was in there too. That shit got weird. Would not recommend. Maybe you would have a better experience, but I did not. Like as soon as I tried to play the lives of me, I was like, fuck this. It was weird. It was really weird. And I would never, I don't want to ever do that again. I just felt so weird. Very bizarre feeling. You did the same, not sure what you were expecting. Yeah, I like the second I tried to play my own sim as that is me, it felt so weird. Like, in not a good way. You know? Oh, fuck yeah. Nice. What if I can get on the roof from here? Probably. Yes, dissociative. Yes, it was very disassociating. Like, that's the perfect way to describe it. It was, it was weird. Tamadachi life instead. Tamadachi. Weird watching yourself get pounded. If this right. is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your brushes and paints and and paying along with us each show. I think you'll enjoy it. Not before Ryan showed up. Come on. Hi, Raiders. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Hello. No Man's Sky again. I hope you had a good time. Ryan, have you ever seen this game or have played it? Have you? Are you familiar? I played the absolute shit out of this game. Oh, I was about to say, this would be a really good stream game for you to just like talk. Cause I know obviously you talk a lot on your stream as a streamer, content creator, but also therapist. You almost finished it? Oh my, I don't even know what that means. Have I barely scratched the surface? This is like the third map I've done. I'm assuming there's hundreds or I don't even know. It's so much fun. I'm loving it, Ryan. It's so good. I needed that like perfect like brain itch, like mindless kind of game. And oh my God, it's so lovely. Big fan of it. You have so many more things to do. Noted. Noted, noted, noted. Oh, Halsey. Oh, The Sims. Yeah, we were we were just talking about um <laughs> how the one of the first things I did in The Sims was make myself and like my partner at the time and like our dog and our house. And then the second I tried to play it, it was the most disassociating thing ever and I hated it. It was so weird. I like wouldn't recommend making yourself in The Sims and your house. I mean, maybe that's your thing and that's great, but I felt so uncomfortable. I was like, what the heck? 
It was like playing God in your own life, but in a weird video game Sims way. I don't know. But also, hi, anyone coming in uh, for your first time, welcome. Hi, hello. If you've never been here before, hi, my name is Julia. My pronouns are she, her. We're just power washing stuff and hanging out and chatting. Oh, shit. Well. Hopefully this this will work because I feel like I saw some little nooks and crannies up there that I didn't get. Oh no, this should be fine. Hello, little ladder. Nice. What was the first phrase your stream heard of Julia's? I hope it was the one about seeing yourself get pounded because that was hard to explain. What? Are you talking about when they hosted right now, Sprox? I think what I'm assuming Sprox mean is like, what was the first thing you heard me say? Cause we were talking about Sim stuff. That's what my guess is. Yeah, I don't even know. <gasps> okay. The ladder is much better than the step stool. Oh yeah, no, it's it's definitely a uh, an upgrade from the step stool. I agree. <laughs> Julie is occasionally feral. It's why we love her. Yeah, sometimes you know stuff that said is slightly out of pocket. It happens. And sometimes it's not even me. Sometimes it's just something I'm reading, and then you know. It's like I get framed. <gasps> yes! Fuck yeah. I can't tell if all these little blocks are done or not. I'm gonna assume so. Je ne sais pas. I'm gonna grab some uh, after stream noms and lurk. Live, have a lovely little snack break and also have a great lurk. And, and thank you again for hosting us as well. I wish you a lovely rest of your playthrough and tell me why. I don't, I'm assuming you didn't beat it tonight. Well, thank you for coming by. Top left corner, it will have a bar if it's not done. Yeah, I was looking at that. But it's like hovering over each thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's pretty easy to hover over each one. Okay, I thought I saw something. Oh, it was that climbing pool I think I hovered over. Okay, we're almost done. 86% done. We're just about finished. Just gotta do this little part and then that's it. You go to the menu and shows you all the things you need to clean and what isn't done yet. That helped me a lot figure out what I need to do. Oh yeah. My very first Julia no. stream, she said, you piped today? Why are you telling us that? Doesn't it mean sex? Oh, Pippin TBD. Oh. Classic. You pipped today. Yo, yo, what a memory. What a memory. Mm -hmm. 
all my pipes today. I piped in DBD. baby oh baby oh baby <gasps> I forgot that bench over there oh I need to go do that Oh man. Oh, what big part of it isn't done? Hello? Oh, the top bed, I bet. Let me go do this bench. Wow, that's dirty. Thanks, Julie, for showing me a new thing to be obsessed with. I need to go to bed tonight, night, y'all. Joelle, I hope you have a good sleep. Hopefully it's a healthy obsession. It's very satisfying, you know? It's good brain tickle games. So I'm happy to do that. Um, and sleep well, also. Did anyone remember when Jaywood spent like four days in Pokemon Sword Shield just to route one trying to find a shiny Wulu? I'm expecting Liv to do that for a shiny small Liv once Scarlet and Violet come out. I definitely understand that more if I played Pokemon. Aside from Pokemon Snap. I'm excited to see the time lapse for this that we get to see when we're done. Because holy cow. We did so much. Like, when did we start this park? Like, surely well over like two hours ago, an hour and a half ago, I think. I know Pokemon Snap is fantastic. Any vibers? If this is your first time with us, <gasps> Bree! let me extend a personal invitation. Oh my goodness! Drag out your brushes and paint. Hi. And come along with us each show. I think you'll enjoy. Bree, hello, welcome. Bree, I've been telling everyone who's ever come by. Please tell me you've played this. Have you played this? Everyone's played this. I'm the only one I feel like who hasn't, but I hope you have. And if you haven't, you absolutely should. I have not, oh my God, you should. It's the, oh, it is such a good brain tickle game. Oh my goodness. I've never played this. Oh my God, y'all. This is by no means sponsored at all, but holy shit, this is such like a satisfying game. You just get put on these little like places and you, I like the entire thing, like the grounds, everything. Aside from like this part right here, but like the benches, everything was dirty like this. And you just go around and you just clean it. And it's just so satisfying. It's so nice. Looks like heaven. Brie, it's like such a fun, chill game to like also stream because you just clean and just chit chat. Or in your case, like chit chat and like sing and stuff because Brie has a really, really, really good voice. So good. This looks like heaven on earth. Yog, it is so good. It's on Steam. But apparently there's like uh, like so many maps and stuff too that you can go to. So good. But also welcome in y'all. Hello. 
If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Julia. Pronouns are she, her. We're vibing and power washing and, and all that good stuff, you know. But yeah. What were you what were you playing? Can I have another shout out for Bree? What were you what were you doing? Oh, you're playing the goose game. Oh my god. I haven't heard of that game in like a, over a year and a half I feel I've that's oh my god. I haven't played that game in a minute either. That's a fun game I hope that was fun and relaxing. Yeah, what a banger of a game done oh you beat it it was such a cheeky game i loved it yeah it's very goofy it's very fun i forgot there's like a whole playthrough to it but yeah brie i would highly recommend this game it is just so satisfying money from power washing yes there's like a whole story bit to it like you earn money and then you can buy more power washing tools and you get like hired to you know go to all these like different places and power wash and clean stuff for them oops there's like a, a career mode pretty much is what it's called yes but yeah I watched you through the Ding Fam and Julian, and this is the first stream. And thank you. I am so calm. I was having anxiety. Rad, I'm sorry you were feeling anxious tonight. I'm very happy to help, though. I'm glad that we helped kind of, you know, help distract and put you in like a calmer mindset. That's awesome. I hope you're feeling better. Final boss is cleaning the White House. Oh, yuck. Stepdad actually has like a whole company like this and he power washes. <gasps> um, ba, ba, ba. That's perfect for you then. It runs in the family, you know? Sort of step family part. Beautiful. So satisfying. I'm just, it's just so nice to just like, you know, like this, this game is like what I imagine is equivalent to what a dog feels when you're pet, like petting it. Like when you pet your dog or like just rub your dog's head this is what I feel like it would feel like, but in our brain. It's just like, you know, like, ah, yes, that's the spot. <gasps> See ya. Or 
Order up. Ding, ding, ding. Accurate description. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to get on top of the roof to be able to get the top of that. We're in the 90s, we're almost done. Woke her up? Oh, for that, I will give one head pat to my dog, hopefully not waking her up. I woke her up. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, I guess let her go back to sleep or more dog pads. Not a bad thing to wake up to as a dog, right? Sometimes you just need to be on top, you know? Who? I'm sorry, what now? Well, let's get this out of the way first. Wow. Do we have up? Popping in before work to say I hope you have a good stream and hey chat. Fun boys, I hope you have a good shift. I hope work goes well. Um, thank you for coming by and saying hi and, and resubbing. The stream has been going really well. This game has been so satisfying and so lovely. Oh so yeah, thank you very much for saying that. I hope your day goes well. Oh my goodness. 95% done, baby! What Hi. Is love? Hello, Colette. How are you? Thank you for the 23 months. Almost two years. Holy freaking frick. Two year badges right around the corner, Colette. That's freaking wild. Oy vey. I think so too. It's a Animal Crossing playlist. Animal Crossing's got good vibes, you know. Hello, little Lather. Can I use you? Sometimes, like, switch it so it's this and not just me moving my thing. <sighs> I'm hanging in there. Hope you're having a good night, Julia. I'm having a pretty good night. This game definitely helps you hang in there a little bit. It's very, 
you know, mindless and stuff. It's very nice. Have you played this, Colette? I feel like we should have a have you played this counter. Because <laughs> anyone who comes in, especially someone we know well, I'm like, have you played this? You should do it. That's a shiny uh, monkey bar. Wow. Ah. You were terrified as monkey bar of monkey bars as a kid? I used to like do monkey bars all the time as a kid. And now as an adult, I like I feel like I can't really do them that well. I have no upper body strength. I need to have upper body strength. Work my arms out. Like that's pretty weak if I can't even do monkey bars, you know? I feel like that's pretty, not too difficult. I feel like you're just so much stronger as a kid. All that shit they make you do in like PE class. Like I remember in PE class, we'd have to like run a lap every single day and then like come back inside and then do a certain amount of push ups and crunches and all that stuff. Like I used to be freaking jacked as a freaking middle schooler, I think. I can't do a push-up anymore. <laughs> I can't do a push-up anymore. I can do like the easy push-ups where like if you, you know, are have your knees on the ground type push-ups, you know, but other than that, I can't freaking do a freaking push-up, man. I can lift the minimum for work and that's it. Yeah, it's like, and I never used to be like that as a kid or like a young adult, but it, I also just don't work my arms out. So obviously there's an easy fix to, there's a solution to this and that's working out, you know? Oops. I'm excited to unlock different tools soon after this too, hopefully. Oh my God, so satisfying. Wahoo. To be fair, exercise with booba can be tough. It, exercise with big booba is also horrible. That's a big reason why I can't freaking do a push up because my freaking boobs are too heavy, I think. It's very bittersweet. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I feel hopeless. Oh, shit. I just stopped. Oh, it's because I went to the monkey bars. I stopped doing that. Julia Monkey 3 up. Oh, fuck yeah. My second favorite song or first favorite. I think it's my first favorite. Vera, happy four months. Hello. Welcome in. Big booba means less work to do a sit up and touch your chest to your knees though. Uh, that's fair. Sit up's not too bad. Like my core is not that awful. It's just my arms. But like I said, there's the easy solution. I just need to work my arms out. 
Oops, geez Louise. Dun dun dun. La da da da. You let them. No fucking way. I had so much left of this. What do you mean? Ninety nine percent clean. Yo, I think it's just this. No, it's not because we didn't get like the top three checklist. I don't think. So we'll find out. I've been going through second puberty these last couple years and have acquired booba. Can confirm they make everything hurt. Wait, you can go through a second puberty? For, and get booba? <sighs> oh, dad bots are fantastic. Oh, trans. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a... Um... Like... A, uh... What's the correct terminology? Like female at birth, second puberty or something that I wasn't aware of that I missed in like health class. I'm like, are my boobs gonna get bigger again? Oh no. No, thank you. I know, I was like, God, is there a secret? <laughs> I don't want any more puberty. No, no, no. <laughs> but that makes sense. Yeah, boobs are... You know, they, there's a lot of pain that comes with booba. Especially when you're like running. Like running up and down the stairs. It hurts sometimes, you know? It's not all fun and games. You take booba pill. Gotcha, gotcha. No, that makes a lot more sense. That makes sense. Sports bras, yes, but sports bras help. Yes, they definitely help for sure. Oh, this, this works so much better than the other one. What the hell? Moment of truth. Monkey bar ladder's almost done. Ooh, excuse me. <gasps> I want to get over here so we can watch it light up. still so dirty. Mm. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I... No vertical pores... Vertical pull has been done. Stools, climbing pull guard, stools. Oh. Nice. Climbing pull guards. Oh. Oh, that's cool. They blink for you. Large bridge slats? I 
I mean, that's here, right? Sl slide guards one and two. Don't they? Oh. Oh my god. Y'all, we're so close. We're so close. Oh yeah, two people swinging side by side is fun, but yes, very dangerous it can be. Uh. Tower roof support struts. Oh my god, okay, we're almost done. Tower roof. The shit is blinking. Oh. Tower support struts. Oops. Which one? Do y'all see the blinking anywhere? Oh. Hello. Oh, shit. Missed that. <gasps> ah, we have our top three. Tower tabletop. Tower vertical strut and roundabout handlebar. One of these? <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Tower tabletop. I thought I got this. Vertical struts. Okay, this is our very last one. And it's already pretty much done. Oh, it's just this. Satisfying. Look at her. I'd play on that ground, you would? Looks pretty clean. Oh, fuck yeah, man. What a job. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous playgrounds. <laughs> Roz, thank you for the 25 bits. Thank you. Kaylee, thank you for the nice one. Can I kick the ball? <gasps> oh, that's sick.
What do you mean? <laughs> Guys, yeah, what's up? Alright, do you guys want to watch the time lapse of what it looks like? We can't leave. Wait, can we? Can I leave? <gasps> no. We. All right, I'm ready. There it is, time lapse. Wow. Oh wow. Oh, that was so satisfying to see. Super job on the playground, Dirt Finder. Looking at it now, I'll admit, there may have been the odd fleck of dirt here and there. And aren't there just so many colors in this world? Too many, perhaps. Anyway, you got those bleeding worry warts off my back, and for that, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, Park Warden. Yeah, this will be really good. This is not a playground. This is very far from what we just did. Easy. Moro, I hope you sleep well. Thank you for being here. Curry probably peaced out too, and I might have missed that, so I hope you both sleep well. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Have good sleeps. You may or may not be baked. Oh my god, playing this high would be so much fun if I had fun being high anymore, which I don't know if I do anymore. He did? Oh. Well, tell him I'm sorry I missed him fucking off. I shall. Excuse me, what? You know, like if you say, oh, I'm gonna go fuck off. You know, like, peace out. See you later. I'm just saying, like, I missed Kurt. Never mind. You know what, Halsey? I know. Say you. Say you. Say you. Say you. one easy I should have like just jumped around really obnoxiously oh I don't think it shows you jump oh it does <laughs> I should have just like jumped the entire time that would have been a really funny time lapse Looking at the golf cart now, it's almost like the whole thing never happened. You're a genius, Dirt Finder. Much obliged. Thank you. Thank you.